Yo guys, it's that time again, Home Depot sales time. And I'm gonna go over all the sweet deals on Milwaukee Tools, so make sure to watch the video. Also, I got a real good hack on how to save you a lot of money on Milwaukee Tools, where you can get that bear tool for a really good deal. Like garage today, we are doing those Black Friday sales. Let's check so we out. got the Ryobi stuff over there and we got the DeWalt stuff over here, but the stuff I really only care about is in the middle here which is the Milwaukee. I know this is what a lot of you guys wanna see and I can tell pretty easily because it's that new Forge battery. This is the XC 6.0. This thing puts out the wattage, the juice of a uh, 12 amp hour battery, which the HD 12 are a great battery, but they are damn heavy. These things are really sweet. They're about the same weight as just a regular 6.0, but with their cell technology, they put out that wattage and give you more juice. Just like it says, 40% lighter, 30% smaller. Oh yeah. They also have the new fast charger, which here's the thing guys, it's already sold out. So if you guys were looking for this, it's, it's like already gone, but I'll just show you the deal on that. $299, you get the new Forge battery and you get the charger, almost a $500 value. Sick deal right there. And then if you want a sweet Sawzall, man, I would buy this. What do we, what do we got going on? I don't know what the price is. They might not even have this, but we got the Forge battery with the Sawzall. They're not saying what the price is because I don't think they have it. Um, Maybe they have it down here. I don't know, but anyways. They got that deal and they have the uh, grinder. So yeah, if you guys wanna get that new Ford stuff, here it is, but make sure to buy it now because it's gone. I'm gonna go over all the items that are, well, basically on sale, what I know about them. I own most of these tools and I have a pretty good insight on what I think is a good deal on these tools and what you will use and when you will use it. So starting off, we're just gonna go with the uh, big boy toy kit up here buy this kit and get two free tools but that is six hundred dollars now what are you getting you're actually getting pretty much everything you would want um and then you get to pick two of these guys in the middle so let me show you what i think you should get if you were to buy one of these um and then what two tools you should pick because as you can see up there we have a uh, fuel fuel hammer drill which is a great thing to have and we have a fuel brushless impact driver as well they do look like probably second or third gen. I don't know if those are the newest ones as far as the actual unit goes, but that's okay. And then it comes with a battery, actually two batteries and the oscillating multi-tool, which has got to be one of the best things out there to have for pretty much anybody. Um, and then a flashlight. The flashlight's kind of gimmicky, guys. Um, I wouldn't really care about the flashlight. And that's why I would probably end up going with this $399 kit which is 400 bucks um if you're trying to get somebody into the milwaukee lineup that is what i pick up because you're getting two batteries you're getting two fuel brushless uh drills and an impact driver which is great and then you get to pick one of the tools i'll go over these items right here too and then we'll go over the free tools and kind of what i think about those and which ones you should get uh buy this kit get one free tool so you're spending 300 dollars you're not getting a charger. So with that, you're actually not getting a battery, but you're getting an XC 8.0 and an XC 6.0, which is a good setup. Um, also, the other one for $199, which is a pretty good deal. You're gonna get one free tool with it. This is a great way to start out a kit. Uh, that's an M18 5.0s, two 5.0 amp hour batteries and a charger. So that's gonna start you Okay, off. now that we've busted out those main components that you would pick up, this is kind of gonna tell you what your budget is and then you're gonna pick out your free tools these are the free tools so if we're gonna get two tools let's just kind of go over them real quick the job site wireless speaker it's good you know do you need tunes on a job site I don't know but I would probably skip that one the m18 fuel blower if you do not have a leaf blower or you're working in a wood shop or something like that and you wanna clean stuff up, this is an excellent item to pick up. The no lock paddle switch grinding, that's a braking grinder, I have that, it is very nice. Braking grinder means that when you release the trigger, the wheel stops. So not only is it safer, but it's also quicker to put down and pick back up. The jigsaw, I also have that one. I really like that jigsaw, it's very nice. Uh, if you do not have an impact driver and say you were gonna pick up two of these or one of these kits right here, the M18 Fuel Surge, this thing is an amazing impact driver. It's nice and quiet. It doesn't put out the torque or speed as say the normal uh, third gen, 
but it's very nice because it's nice and quiet and, and the motor sounds really good. Uh, because it's getting dark out, if you guys don't have a good light, that might be nice to pick up at the dual power floodlight. I think that's gonna allow you to plug it into a 120 volt source, um, which is nice because then you don't run out of power. Uh, the M18 inflator, this thing is absolutely amazing. I love it. I have the smaller one, which is the M12 inflator and the M18 inflator. Absolutely awesome. You can pump up 37 inch, 40 inch tires, 35 inch tires, whatever, or you could take it to the racetrack. And uh, it does really, really well. It's cool because you just press the button, set it, forget it. It'll pump you up and get you to the proper pressures. The compact router, in my opinion, I wouldn't use this that much just because I don't do a lot of woodworking. But if you do, it's a really nice router to have if you need something mobile. Um, but I'm going to skip that one. The Hacksaw M18 is kind of an interesting uh, setup on here, just kind of the way that the ergonomics are. It's nice. The M18 is great. You're going to want an M18 over an M12. M12s just don't have the juice. And, you know, you might want to go with that. These two items I would definitely skip. I would not get an extra battery. I would not get a dual uh, rapid charger. It's good to have, obviously, but you know these items are much more valuable in my opinion. The oscillating multi-tool, like I said, one of the best things you can have, definitely pick that up. That circular saw, that is, I would definitely skip that. That's not brushless. That's a very entry level circular saw. Um, so overall, with that setup going there, I'm going with that braking grinder if you do metal work. Um, the jigsaw, just great to have. The M18 inflator. And then I'm gonna go with the M18 surge. Then I'd probably go down to that oscillating multi-tool if, if you don't have one. Pretty sweet setup. That's just kind of my opinion on what I would do with that if you were to get some of these items. Um, the other one you have over here, which doesn't really get you anything free necessarily. So it's just a good deal, I guess. $349 on that 15 gauge uh, finish nailer. That's nice, it's battery powered, pretty cool if you don't want to use air anymore or whatever. Uh, then we got $300 for the HD12 and then two CP3.0s. CP3.0s are really nice because they're lightweight. This one's really cool. I haven't had any use with it myself because I do not own this, but it's 175 watt output, 120 volt inverter, um, and it comes with an XC 6.0 battery. Pretty cool if you're looking for a battery and you want to spend $200 but the inverter is just nice to have for whatever you need. If you don't have a 120 volt pack, you know, like, like a, a Jackery or a Yeti or something along those lines that you might power your stuff up um, in your car or on. The also guys, sometimes a hack that can work with this, you might want to check it out on the website. A lot of the time, if you buy one of these tools, you can end up getting a valuation price of the free tool. So if you maybe, go to these two batteries, you purchase this kit for $200, you can actually return the batteries in the charger, let's say, and keep the item at a devalued cost. So let's just say that blower is normally worth 200 bucks. Maybe you can keep it for $120. So it's not like you're keeping it for free, but it's at a devalued cost and you can kind of set that up. It'll show right on the receipt, return value. So that's something to check out. It's kind of a cool hack if you wanna get just really good deals on tools and don't necessarily wanna keep any of these kits over here, but you can usually get a good setup with hacking the deal like that. Coming over here, we got just our basic compact brushless. These are non-fuel. I'm gonna skip these in my opinion. Um, these are just very entry level tools. If you really just need to spend a hundred bucks and just really wanna get into it, you can, but this is a very old generation of impact driver, very old generation of drill, not a ton of torque. It doesn't have the wrist snapping cut off or any of that stuff. Um, and it doesn't have hammer drill mode. So I would just skip buying these entry level tools and purchase the better tool that is gonna last you for years and years because you're gonna find out that this just doesn't do everything that you didn't know you needed. Here's the whole saw kit, 39 bucks. It's a pretty good deal. I would want a pack out version of this, but that's just me because I like pack out stuff. This is pretty cool, um, $29, you know, gets you a ton of tips. But when you pick one of these up, you just go, why did I need 13 T25s? I don't know. It just kind of becomes like one of those kits that you're like, this is just too much. Yes, if you're using them all the time, they're obviously gonna get burnt out. But, you know, unless you're using these items all the time, I think that's a very skippable item. I would like to just see more stuff. Coming over here, like I said, daylight savings time. 
It's getting kind of dark out. This looks to be, how much is this? $79. Pretty cool. Rotates. I don't have this one, uh, but it looks nice. And I think that that could be very useful. 79 bucks. Kind of expensive, but like I said, it's going to be dark out. And if you're working on stuff, very nice to have. Uh, charger, 149 bucks with a battery. That's pretty good value there for a 5.0 XC 5.0 battery. This Sawzall, I would skip just because it's not a fuel brushless one. So technically it could get worn out, but I mean, you're saving 10 bucks. It's nothing crazy. This is nice, a little palm sander, you know, saving 30 bucks, not bad. Um, but also nothing crazy there, you know, it's not like $79 or something like that. Uh, this vacuum cleaner, go ahead and skip this. Reason why it's $149, it's 99 bucks, but there's a reason for that. It's not pack out. They make a new one that is pack out compatible. You're gonna wanna buy the pack out compatible one. $79 for the hacksaw. This is not fuel, but that's pretty cheap if you don't have a hacksaw or a Sawzall, I should say. Um, that thing's pretty sweet. Maybe pick that up. These are always good, 19 bucks. Yes, this is a $58 value. Yes, these are consumables and you are gonna go through them. 20 bucks pick that up for whoever in your family if you got a 20 dollar like gift that you're looking for somebody boom that is absolutely perfect crown stapler that's pretty cool 100 bucks that's nice right angle drill probably never going to use this thing it's very particular things there's actually a cool install tool that has variable positions that i would rather pick that up over this because there's way more options for it floodlight 100 bucks m12 so if you're looking for m12 stuff for lighting Pretty cool, but it's $100, so it's kind of expensive. $79 for the soldering tool, that's nice. M12 oscillating tool, I say skip the M12 oscillating tool. Definitely go with the M18 because you're gonna find yourself using it and it's great. It's a great thing to have. $79 is a great deal, but the batteries are just gonna burn up when you're just trying to go to town and really do some work, like removing trim and cutting through nails and stuff like that. You're really gonna want an M18. I probably went through six to eight batteries uh, taking the crown molding and the trim off of my uh, kitchen when I was doing remodeling. And just so that I wouldn't tear the paint and I wouldn't tear the walls up. And man, I wish I had an M18, one of that. So I will pick one of those up in the future. More consumables, $142 value on these oscillating tools. <sighs> yes and no on this. Um, I'm not loving, I haven't used the nitrous version of the Milwaukee stuff, but I was using the Diablo, uh, the really good titanium Diablo blade, and that was worth its weight in gold. It was about $20, $25 for one blade, but I'll tell you what, I was going through these blades like crazy, so I would definitely just pick up a Diablo blade over that. Now, this stuff's cool. Here's the M12 setup for you guys that are in the mechanic lineup. Uh, this is what you're gonna want right here, honestly. M12 fuel, this right here. Anybody that works on cars, buy this for them. This is awesome. The, the ratchet right here, there's no impact on that. So just keep that in mind. You can use it as a manual ratchet as well, but thing works great. Look at that, $522 value. Comes with two batteries. Those look like CP 2.0s, a charger. And then this impact, you can use that on a lot of stuff. Uh, usually you're gonna wanna use an impact wrench over an impact driver which this is an impact driver however use the adapter it, it'll be fine um then we have over here two batteries 149 dollars kind of expensive on that i'd probably save it for getting a kit where the stuff is integrated this thing's rad though I would totally buy this this is the chainsaw the chainsaw is so cool i want this i have the pull saw version that adapts on my weed eater it goes on the end and it's amazing but i'd like to have this handheld version 149 bucks. I don't know if that's a deal. Oh, it is usually 219. So yeah, it's a pretty good deal. You might want to pick that one up. Oscillating multi-tool, like I said, M12 version, skip it, go with the M18. $99 over here. We got the impact driver. If you don't have one and you're looking to get into M12 lineup, this is great for finishing out, trimming out stuff, uh, electricians, plumbers, you know, whoever out there in the trades. This is a really nice lightweight thing to have. So if they have all M18, or they have you know 18 volt stuff it is nice to have a little lightweight thing to uh just speed up stuff and just go a little lighter uh you got your bluetooth guy i probably skip that that's 100 bucks and then we got the little spinner cutoff wheel it's 159 dollars normally 100 i i don't use that that much so i'd skip 20 dollars. these are your stuffers right these are for the people that you're just looking to spend about 20 bucks on speed square never go wrong with that but this is the absolute best thing ever 
this one right here. The Milwaukee Fastback with the six in one screwdriver. It's got a quarter drive in it. Um, it also has storage for an extra blade that you can put up there in the liner and you can open bottles with it as well. Actually, this one, this one is slightly different. This one doesn't have the bottle opener, but has everything else. So yes and no, I'd still be happy with this. I mean, we could open bottles with it, but I'm just not seeing that particular thing on it anymore, which is weird. So they changed that up slightly. I don't know why. We got our tape measures, you know, $45 value, two pack, 20 bucks, pick them up, why not? And then we got our hammer right here, $19. Decent hammer, framing hammer, got the little nail guy in there. I don't know, if you need a hammer, $20. Not Here's bad. the real deal though, if you buy three, you save $10. If you buy five, you save $30, which is pretty cool. The strippers, I do like these, I'm an electrician and I do use these. These are um, more so, these are the bigger gauge right here and they are a little bit longer. They do make a smaller version of that. 27 in one is cool too. It does look like that might have some tamper resistant bits in it as well. And that's a pretty good deal at 20 bucks. All right, coming around to this side, we got the impacts going on here. Uh, this one, skip it, non-fuel. This one, skip it, non-fuel. Does have high torque, but this is like three, four generations ago. So this is kind of junk in my opinion. Uh, I mean, it works, don't get me wrong, but is it the cool one? No, you're gonna have buyer's remorse, definitely. Uh, these right here, these are the shockwave impacts. I have both of these setups. This is the 3 8 This is the half inch drive right here. $100 for either one of those. Great deal. Kind of the only thing that's not great about them is they're not in a pack out case. That's what I'd like to see. But for $100, come on, can you even be sad about it? This is awesome. Metric SAE 25 piece, 50 bucks. It's pretty good. I love the full size one right here. This 56 piece is great. It lays really nicely in your toolbox. As you can see, it's removable. That's awesome. It's a hundred bucks, normally $189. I'd pick that one up. This is great for your car or whatever, but yeah, that's really cool. Uh, we got a couple levels, $29, kind of expensive. I don't know about that. $249 for the Brad Nailer. If you use one of those, great. You're saving 50 bucks. $329, normally 379 on this guy. This one is the framing nailer, which is pretty badass. Uh, if you do framing, pick it up, it's on sale. And then we got the mug, five bucks off, not bad. I have one, used it ever so often. It's cool. It's great because it goes on the pack out stuff, but yeah, is what it is. <sighs> then we got just our regular basic little items over here, our safety gear. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video as far as what I saw with good deals on Milwaukee tools. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure to hit that bell, subscribe later and wrench on guys.